Yo, what is up, guys? And today, what we're going to be doing is um, a boxing video. Surprisingly, yes, I know. Um, but my Obadiah Stay video has taken a bit longer than I expected, so I just wanted to keep this as a little filler. Um, before I get started with this fight and explain what's going to happen, uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You can have them for occasional or all. I'll suggest uh, all, if I'm being honest. Um, obviously, you can follow my Twitter down below at ShadowHunter419. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. We are going to be doing Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul. Um, obviously, if you are part of the major YouTube scene, you'll know that this fight was announced for February 20th, 2021. Um, obviously, I think this is a stupid idea. Floyd, if he loses, he's lost his legacy, pretty much. But uh, I will be playing Floyd Mayweather today against Logan Paul. Uh, Logan Paul is a heavyweight. Uh, Floyd Mayweather I put as a middleweight. Just so they can actually fight because on this game you can't fight someone who's outside of two uh, weight classes. But um, as you can see, I've got this on greatest of all time. 12 rounds, 3 minutes. Last round only for Saved by the Bell. Um, I'm only going to be doing a one and done, so I'll record this once. The first, this is the first fight I'm going to do. Uh, I'll do it once, and if I lose, I lose. Who cares? But um, I hope you're all ready. Uh, let's get this underway. Um, first off, um, obviously, you know, that was away for a little while uh, due to my exams. And now I have like two weeks off and a bit. And I'll be able to be a lot more for you. So, um, what I might do, uh, I might leave a poll down in the comments below of two co of two uh, ideas I've got next after the Obadiah video. Um, for the first one, uh, you'll have to comment if you like it, and for the second video, you'll have to like the comment. But without further ado, uh, here's Floyd Mayweather. Uh, obviously, it's a creative fighter, but 50 and 0, like. It's just mad how he did it. Uh, I feel like the other fight he could have lost is against Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I felt like Pacquiao won that fight, honestly. Uh, I am up to do that fight for you guys if I wanted to. Uh, I'm hoping to get a bit more boxing involved in this channel because I really fucking love boxing nowadays. But here comes Logan Paul, obviously 0-1 to KSI, who will be fighting Jake Paul, hopefully, which I can also do a simulated fight of that for you guys. Uh, Logan, he is a good fighter, it's just his lack of wanting to fight will probably lose him the fight against Mayweather because you know how negative of a fight Mayweather is. But I'm excited for this fight. Uh, I made Logan Paul, I know he's from Canada, but who cares? Play what Mayweather, I found him online as a boxer share thing. Uh, he's like one of the most downloaded things right now on it. But Logan Paul, Floyd Mayweather, 12 rounds, 3 minutes. Let's get underway. Alright, so we're going to have to play a bit negatively here because I know Logan's going to come out a bit aggressive. Uh, I hope you can see that I'm not really the best fighter, but greatest of all time seems necessary for this. Uh, we're going to have to play it a bit safe right now. Go for the body a bit on Logan because we know how bad his body is when it takes punches. Also, we've never seen an actual boxing fight, but we've seen how he can have a bad body. Especially in sparring. Uh, but I hope you guys uh, don't mind these videos. Uh, I know I usually do Star Wars, Marvel and film content, but I just wanted to integrate a bit more gaming into this, and this is one of the games I've been playing a lot recently. Um, obviously, with Christmas coming around the corner, I have a surprise for you guys. Uh, I won't tell you what it is yet, but it's a nice surprise. Uh, if you're from the UK, you'll know what this surprise is when it comes out. If you're from America or Canada, which I know most of my viewers are, uh, it'll be a bit of a bit of research that you'll have to do to figure out what this uh, thing is. But uh, I really can't wait for you to see it. Uh, it'll be a stream, so you can all take part in this as well. But right now, I'm just trying to feel Logan out, uh, see where he's going. He's an extremely 
headhunting me right now. But we just need to feel him out, let him waste his own energy and then we can take him out in later rounds. Obviously, I'm up to uh, some advice in the comments on my fighting skills. Uh, I wanted to improve, so if the day Fight Night Champion Fanatics out there, uh, I'd love to hear some uh, advice. Um, come on, Logan's going for my body now in the last minute of the round. I'm gonna have to kind of push him a little bit. Mayweather with the extreme speed. I know that people expect a brawler type from Logan in this fight because you want the fight to end early as well Mayweather's bound to win it uh, but obviously we know Mayweather is like the most negative but calculated fighter of all time uh, obviously we have some like obviously there's always arguments for who's the greatest but um, obviously we have people like Tyson and Ali and Roy George Jr that are up for the debate there uh, obviously Ray Robinson as well uh, but obviously it's always just up to the fans on who is the greatest but round one uh, we've done a very good uh, fight there definitely made Logan tire himself out a lot obviously 85% to 94 slowly draining stamina here Come on. I know Logan will open up soon. By the fourth or fifth round, he'll start to tire. I bumped up Logan's attributes, by the way, from 84 to 87. Because I felt it'll be a bit too easy at an 84 rated Logan Paul to a 95 rated Floyd Mayweather. And he got me with a good shot to the body. And that's what Mayweather had to look out for the first couple of rounds. Logan tried to take him out quickly. And I feel like Mayweather will be prepared for it. But it just all depends on... Oh, knockdown. Damn. I'm really not good at this game, am I? But at least it's all for the unpredictable content out there, isn't it? If I lose, I'll take it. But right now, Logan's going to be leading the early rounds by far. Which I feel like that would happen in the fight anyways. I don't know how many rounds it's going to be, but I think it's going to be 8. But I did 12. So I feel like Mayweather will have to quicken up his plans to make Logan tired quicker. Because we know, after the 4th round, Logan will tire, no matter what. It's always that 12th minute mark that Logan will start to tire. And we've seen in both of it in both of his fights he tires pretty quickly if he keeps throwing out the jab and going for quick combos in the start especially against someone with Mayweather speed obviously we've already seen Mayweather knock down in this fight so far but Logan's stamina is going quick and that's what we want he could knock us down once or twice yes but we could get him in the late rounds Come on, come on, Logan! You gotta give me something here. I'm not used to really being the middleweight in this fight, and I'm down again in the second round. God damn it! <laughs> I really need to try and capitalize on Logan's movements here because I'm just leaving myself open. For Logan to come and take me out again with more body shots. We can see Logan's tiring. I just need to get past these first four rounds, and then I might be able to take him out. Well, that's the problem with me. I'm not really the Mayweather type fighter. I'm usually in there first five rounds, you're out. 
I usually don't play with people like Mayweather or Pacquiao or anything like that. And we're going to see Logan start to tire pretty quickly now. Uh, tell me down in the comments below, how do you think this fight would go down? Uh, I would think Mayweather would beat Logan pretty quickly, well pretty easily. Not quickly of course, because Logan will try and come out with a flurry at the start, or he'll try and make Mayweather push him. But as long as Logan goes through all 8 to 10 rounds with Mayweather, and somehow comes out with a result here, because I don't think Logan should look to knock him out, because that will be his downfall, essentially. Oh, good shot to the head. I need to stop getting booming trapped here. Yeah. I need to be on the inside of Logan extremely here. Oh great, my boy busted control is gonna mess me up right now, but we move, we move. If we lost these next two rounds, we've got this fight under our belt. I have done this fight before a couple of months ago when I was just in my own spare time and I just dominated Logan but that was on champion mode and now I'm on greatest of all time which I've never done before it's going to be a lot different now because Logan's going to be on his fucking A game right now but um, obviously some other boxing news that feels relevant uh, obviously Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, that's pretty much confirmed without being confirmed. Uh, I think Fury could win that fight. Uh, AJ's probably the better boxer, but Tyson, man, he has that psychological game that no one else has in boxing right now. And I feel like that would be AJ's downfall because Fury could get in his head ever so easily and just change up AJ's game plan to just go full steam ahead at Tyson. And Tyson will just pick him off. Even though it's a bigger fighter, Tyson. He just... He'll let AJ tire himself out. And then he'll come with a big blow to the head. And knock him out in maybe the ninth round. Like AJ did to Pulev. Which that fight was... I feel like... Especially after this year, that fight... Just... Made my year. Because AJ... I thought... Because of Covid, he might have lost his A game. But he's better than ever right now. Uh, obviously nothing special came from that fight, obviously. I felt like that was just a filler fight, just to kind of get the hype back for boxing. Oh no! Please, Logan. Let me bloody clinch you. There we go. But you can see Logan's stamina starting to tire like Mayweather's. Mayweather's pretty much still in there. But Logan's definitely got some of these rounds because of me being a fucking plonker but you can see my stamina is absolutely supreme compared to Logan's right now and there's confirmation Logan is currently winning all three rounds oh we got Logan here didn't realize didn't expect that Oof. we have Logan rock there we can see that he has a weakness in the right eye if we just keep picking off at it and go for a couple of body shots then we might be able to get past him and his block but we have got Logan we have had Logan rocks now so we can see a weakness which is his right eye which Mayweather will try and capitalize on when Logan opens himself up to it like there. Oh, beautiful shot there by Mayweather. Ah, oh, come on. You can really tell I don't play like a Mayweather. Cause I just want to get this fight one and done. I'm not one of these long game fighters. I'm more of a Mike Tyson just brawl it out and break through him. Just 
punch through the fucker and get him out. But right now, I think we've got this round on Logan. I don't want to be too cocky. So I want to keep with the plan of keeping more stamina and laying Logan Tyrants out. Oh. Oh, beautiful shot. But if you just keep flicking these jabs at him, they'll start to frustrate him a bit here. Yeah. Here we go, come on. Really trying here now, but you can see Logan's really starting to tire now. And he can only flick one or two jabs before he gets tired again. And this is where Mayweather comes in. Like I said, the fourth round, Logan starts to tire pretty quickly, and he's going down. Logan pulls down for the first time in this fight. The stamina game is working very well here for Mayweather. Can Logan get up? He's up at the count of five. Oof. This fight is not yet over. But it is only but the beginning of the end is coming for Logan Paul. Mayweather uses a stamina advantage to take out Logan Paul here. And that was our round. You can see Logan's eyes starting to bruise. And this is where we got Logan. Just keeping twenty percent ahead of him at all time. We can just kind of slowly pick off his movements here, because we can only tell he can only do two or three punches at a time. So if we let him waste some two or three punches, we can hopefully flick him off with these jabs and then take him out. And you can see. He is hurt because he's died to clinch. You know that amateur wrestling background coming into play with his clinches. I mean, I feel like Logan would do a lot better in UFC than boxing. I mean, we've seen him spar with, I feel, Dylan Dennis. And he'll do well for himself there. And Oh, beautiful shot by Mayweather. We've seen how he can really take his grappling game to the next level of UFC which I feel like he should I don't feel like boxing is really for him but we all know that he's going to fight Mayweather that's why this video is happening but I just don't feel like Logan really suits in the world of boxing and he's probably more of a UFC kind of person or MMA we we'll see here, slowly picking off Logan as his fight inside get a bit more reckless now. Oh, beautiful. Oh, bit of a reckless move there by me. But you can see Logan's right eye starting to bruise and close here. If you keep picking at it with these right straights and some right hooks as well, maybe we could close it and start for it to be a problem for Logan here. But see, Logan can only pick off one or two shots at a time before his stamina runs out. Whilst else we could do is a flurry of hits here. And hopefully catch him with one of these hooks or straights here. We've got to get a rope, and he's starting to falter. And this way, we have to take advantage of him being a bit slow and more cautious. Catch him out. So you can only do one punch now before his stamina runs out. Push him off and go back. Go back to work. We've got to work on him. Oh. We got him down for a second time. Lowers down with an incredible punch to the jaw, and he's 
down, but is he out? He's up at six, and that's our round for sure. Logan starting to falter. Mayweather stamina coming into play again. Could this be the end of Logan Paul in this fight? We can see the breaks in between routes are really saving Logan here. As the were for me at the start of the fight. But maybe we catch him. One of the beautiful hooks there. In catch him out whilst he has slow stamina like that. Maybe he could go down. But we don't know yet because Logan is still pushing with no stamina. Oh, we got him down! He's down! Logan Paul's down! With a beautiful right straight into his face whilst he was trying to pick us off. And he is down again. Is he going to get up though? Or is that going to be it? That's the fight over. <laughs> See, the, the, the game plan worked. Fourth round, Logan will not have the energy to keep up with Mayweather. But that is Mayweather's fight. And that is a win for Floyd Mayweather in the sixth round. As we can see here, it is a ESPN Clive Fight Classic, but 10 8 in the last two rounds before he was knocked out. That is the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Logan Paul losing to Floyd Mayweather sixth round after a beautiful right straight into the jaw, knocking him out. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all later. Take care and peace.